The Speaker's Media Unit said this meeting was organized in line with the Gazette notification issued by the President ordering for Parliament to convene on the 14th of November. It further said the main focus of the meeting was to plan out how parliamentary proceedings would be carried out on that day. <laughs> We made a request to the Speaker. According to his statement, Ranil Vikramasinghe has the majority. However, Mahindra Rajapaksa's faction says he has the majority. So, we told them, as the first task on the agenda on the 14th, we must decide who has a majority in Parliament. Subsequent to this, we can carry out other parliamentary activities. We will give this to them, but if we have a majority, we will handle it. That is all there is to it. We have 126. So we have more than enough. We have no need to buy anyone over unless they are willing to support us voluntarily. There is no agreement. They say they don't approve of our government. They insist that they have to prove their powers to us in parliament and they have to test their powers and ours. But we do not approve of that. The issue here is there is no middle ground where both parties can agree on. We ask them to bring a no-confidence motion and if they lose, we will be the government and they will be the opposition. The Speaker along with the UNP, TNA and the JVP are in a bubble today. Extremely partisan. He has taken in the whole stress of the country and says he wants to see who has a majority. But will that change the government? There have been enough and more minority governments. No, we believe we have a majority. They say we are not a proper government. They are challenging all the rules. If they want to play this game that way, let's follow all the rules and go ahead. Meanwhile, Sergeant at Arms of the Parliament, Narendra Fernando, says seat allocations for the upcoming parliamentary session on the 14th of November will be made on the 12th. He added seat allocations will be made according to the Gazette issued by the President appointing Mahindra Rajapaksa as the new Prime Minister and further said he would seek the Speaker's advice to carry out this task. Now, Speaker Karu Jayasuriya has announced that the opportunity must be given to show a majority in Parliament to form a stable government after suspending standing orders when Parliament reconvenes on the 14th of November. The Office of the Speaker made this announcement following an unofficial meeting with political party representatives held to decide on the parliamentary agenda for the 14th. The government's stance on the agenda is for the Parliamentary Secretary-General to read out the order of the President to reconvene Parliament and adjourn sittings for the day. However, all other political party representatives have opposed this and pointed out following the day's activities, an opportunity needs to be given to call for a majority view on establishing a stable government.